is up guys welcome back to awesome kids tv welcome back to another billcraft gameplay we're back yet again in our lovely world of kingdomville as you can plainly see right here in today's video we are yet again going to be building something very amazing in uh, the new part of town and we're going to uh, make it uh, twice as nice. Another beautiful day in our kingdom has rose yet again. And that means we gotta build another little building in the newest section of our town here. Last time we did this, we made this uh, pet shop. We made this toy toy shop, toy store. Uh, we built this last time. Now we are going to be making, you guessed it, a, a house right over here next, that'll go a couple miles next to that place over there. So we are gonna get started here. But first, we need to gather up all the materials. We need to gather all of them up. We are going to be using stone brick and wood for this. So we're going to grab the stone bricks. Stone brick stairs and slabs. And then for the wood, I decided to go for a good old spruce. <laughs> Uh, because I love to say it, uh, say it Stampy's way. And then we're gonna get the birch door, of course. And then... Uh, that's about it, actually. That's about it. Let's get building! And, as always, we will start with a good old foundation. Uh, the foundation, if you don't know, basically is a giant hole in the ground that keeps the building from falling down or whatever. I learned that from uh, the Chuck and Friends. I learned that from the Adventures of Chuck and Friends episode where the gang, the, uh, the vehicle gang try to like uh, build a shed, a tool shed. Uh, for Chuck's mom and of course they fail in the most childlike way possible and so of course I am uh, paying homage to that I am paying homage to it <laughs> all right let's begin with the floor I'm making the floor out of stone brick so that not only is it invincible to fire, not only is it that the floor itself would be invincible to fire, but also look good at the same time. Alright, the floor is now officially done. We can now add the door frame for the doorway. Of course, we're going to use spruce wood for that. Bruce wood and stone brick so we're gonna put that on top syllab syllable on that stone brick trim this tree all the way yeah trim that tree down out of the way there we go we're getting pretty good at this building stuff all right, we're now doing the exact same for all the other sections of wall. There we go. Boom, boom. We're nearly done with the wall. We're nearly done with the wall. The wall, like I said, is half wood, half stone brick. So that means it'll be uh half invincible and half burnable so very much it'll survive anything especially a tnt 
TNT attacks uh, from TNT machines or something. Yeah, we'll trim those trees out of the way, trim them down a little bit. Make sure they can get out of our way and stay out of our way. Now that we got the uh, house frame uh, completely made. Yes, I did. Yes, I did get the house frame done. Yes, I did get it made. Sorry, misunderstanding. Anyway, we can now move on to the roof itself. The roof itself I am making out of uh, spruce log and stone brick. As I am doing here, we are now nearly done with the roof of this place. I gotta build it as fast as I can before the village villager who's gonna live here uh comes to live here uh i suppose all right we're now on the stone brick stage of this fight yet yeah, i did get the house frame done see i did get the house frame made sorry all right, we're now adding on the stone brick stairs as the roof tiles, the roofing tiles. You can't have a roof or a roof or however you pronounce it uh, without the tiles themselves. That's why you gotta add the tiles themselves. Otherwise, it's gonna look pr pretty ugly without them. So that's why you need to add them to make it less ugly and more beautiful. I always do that with a couple of our builds, believe me. <coughs> anyway, we're almost done with this whole entire house. Look at this. Half of the house will be invincible to fire now. See, I told you. Ooh, saplings. So I'll take those. Let's trim the tree some more so that we can get an optimal view of this whole entire place, this whole entire house. Trim the tree some more. There we go. That looks pretty good from this view. And aerial view, that looks fabulous in aerial view. We'll trim this little tree. I planted these trees in the last video. And that one took so long to make. But we did it anyway. We're now adding in the dim lighting. And for that we are using some red stone lamps and levers to light up the place dimly. Dimly get the place lit up, lighting up, lighting up, sorry. We're dim, we're getting the house lighting up. Uh, there we go. That looks pretty dimly lit. Alright, we can now add the decorations. A chest. Crafting table bookshelf, bed, and a furnace. We don't have to use the slabs. It's off. It's up to us, of course. We'll put the furnaces right there. Chest right there. Crafting table right there. Bookshelf right there. And then the two beds right there. We got them. Now we'll get these stone brick slabs there go slap them on top of the furnaces there you go that is how you uh build a villager house thank you so much for watching till the end of this whole entire video i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy please make sure to like share and subscribe and uh yeah, don't forget to stay tuned for a future gameplay here. And...
and uh, as always, uh, we'll see you in our next video. Peace!